I'm going to be doing a panda rock today using a river rock and then I'm going to base coat the river rock and guess so. It's going to take about two coats. And then I'm going to do the back side first and that's a good practice for the background of this picture of a panda that I found on Pinterest. I just love the colors and thought it was just super cute. So let's get started. This is metallic paints that I'm going to use to highlight the rock with. And I will leave uh, in the description where I get the paint from. Now for the base I'm going to be using watercolor paints because I like how easy it is to spread and blend with other paints on top of the gesso. That's why it's important to have a good coat of the gesso. Now I'm adding some dots of white paint on top of the pink and I'm going to use a sponging tool to blend it in to give it that effect that I want for the backdrop to match that cute little picture I found. After I'm done blending it all in, I'm going to go back and put a few random white circles and they're not going to be exactly the same size and that's what gives it that look um, almost like when you're in the sunlight and you see particles floating around that's the kind of feel I wanted to give it um, I felt like that was the best way to describe what the picture the background of the picture reminds me of so after I'm done putting the dots on, I'm going to tone them down by mixing just a little bit of the pink and the white because I didn't like how much they stood out. Okay, once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and add that metallic pink. I'm just going to randomly put it just to give the background a little shimmer. And there it is, so pretty. I love how this just came out. Don't stress out if it's not the same as, exactly the same as the picture. Now it's time to do the trunk of the tree and I really wanted to give it the trick of the tree a lot of um, I guess like texture and character so it's gonna take a couple different layers this is just like the first layer and I'm using acrylic paints for this um, this set has been sitting for a while so it's a little bit on the dry side so it's hard to use but still works. Now I'm gonna go back and like I said, add some character, some detail to the bark. Now if you notice, I'm using several colors and I'm doing that on purpose because I feel like they, it just makes it even more interesting and stand out, more realistic. I used a burnt umber, raw umber, an off-white, and I used some yellow ochre and burnt sienna as well. And as you notice, it's blending in with the other colors, um, kind of getting a little mudded out, and I'm doing that on purpose instead of waiting for the paints to dry before adding another layer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I'm going to add some random little branches for the little blossoms to go on. Again, you notice I'm struggling a little bit here. The paint is not just not working with me. I may have to just get rid of this paint set. I hate wasting anything, so I was going to try and see if I can get one more good use out of it. Okay, now I'm going to add, go ahead and add the blossoms. This will be the first layer. It's just white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back on top of them and add a pearl. Uh, it's acrylic paint pearl metallic. Uh, to, just to give it a little bit of shimmer, which you'll see in the end when I show off the rock when it's finished. What I like about the background finish is with the blossoms, I uh, it kind of like helps the tree disappear. So you don't have to worry about continuing the tree on. Also, if you notice, some of the blossoms are medium size, some are large, and then I do tiny ones. Just do little variations. Also, I, uh, you can always come back and add more blossoms. And now I'm filling in the panda. I'm using just a little bit of the black in with the white. So that way when I come back, I'm going to use a white acrylic paint marker to put in the detail of like the fur. Now, I'm not going to bother sketching on the panda uh, face like I did with a uh, pencil when I did the body. I'm just going to use my paintbrush and a little black to kind of shade in the face. I'm not really worried about it coming out perfect as long as it comes out cute. So while I'm waiting for the face to dry a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and fill in wherever there is black on the panda.
On this foot, I'm gonna make an impression of toes because the foot is facing upward. You can kind of see them. Where this foot is different, it's uh, more downward. Okay, so I'm going to work on the face some more. I mean, it's totally cute like it is. It's kind of cartoony. But, like I said, I had to wait for the white to dry a little more before going back and adding any of the face. So now I'm going to be putting in the eyes. Put little dots for highlight gives it more realistic look and now I'm doing the fur again with a acrylic pen marker and I'm just gonna keep filling in filling in filling in until the fur gets nice and thick thick as I think it should be oh he's so cute pandas are so sweet And if you make any mistakes, any mistakes at all, you can always come back and touch up with uh, the color paint you need. Now I do the same with the black. I use a black acrylic pen and put details of the fur. And now I'm using an acrylic pen to do the pad of the feet and toes. Which is so super cute. I also used the white acrylic uh, pen to put the nails on of the paws and toes. And now I'm going to put a, a little shading on the tree underneath the paws and wherever I think it should be on the tree. Now we'll put some shading around his face. And this is where I was talking about, you can always come back and fill in wherever you need. If you Now I'm gonna add a darker pink in the center of all the blossoms. And then I'm going to come back in the center of the darker pink. I'm going to add yellow. I love the contrast of the yellow with the dark pink. And then after that, when I'm done putting all that in, I'm going to come back and retouch each petal or on the blossoms with a pearl. And you see how shiny it is with the pearl, what it did with the blossoms. Oh, I just love that. Thank you for watching. And be sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see what I'm going to be painting up next.